Honorable Indonesian Minister of Environment and Forestry, KLHK, Madam Dr. Insinyur Siti Nurbaya Bakar, MSJ, Honorable Minister of Infrastructure and Water Management, Madam Cora van Nguyen Huizen, Honorable Netherlands Ambassador to Indonesia and the Indonesian Ambassador to the Netherlands, the Director General for Climate Change, Kyle Haka, the Climate Envoy of Netherlands, Minister of Economics, Affairs and Climate Policy. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow colleagues and participants, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera bagi kita semua. Om Swastiastu, Namo Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan. A very good afternoon for all of you in Indonesia and a splendid good morning for all of you in the Netherlands. Hello and welcome to the Winner 2021 event. I am Irina Rafliana from the Indonesian Institute of Sciences, or LIPI, and I'm here with Professor Ruard Gansevoort, but would only be best if Ruard also introduced yourself, Ruard. Good morning, Selamat Siang. Um, good morning. Uh, great to have you all here on this uh, wonderful occasion on the Dutch Indonesian cooperation to the climate adaptation challenge. We are looking forward to have a very special program today, in which we have welcome remarks by the two ambassadors, keynote speeches by the two ministers, the announcement of the alumni challenge, and then after that, we will have some videos and then a panel discussion on what we can do with multi-stakeholders in meeting the climate challenges of our times. Um, everything, maybe, everything will be recorded in this session, so it can also be watched afterwards. Mm -hmm. Irina. Um, yeah, uh, before we step into the addresses from the investors, may I also share a bit of a background of the event? Uh, on the 25th and 26th of January this year, about 18,500 people gathered virtually as a global community at the Climate Change Adaptation Summit. Among these global communities are world leaders, ministers, high-level officials, and international organizations, uh, together with academia, civil society, and youth representatives to attend the Climate Adaptation Summit to accelerate adaptation and mitigation act action and bind each other with ambitious commitments within the so-called adaptation action agenda. After a successful winner event last year, this winner of or week of Indonesian Netherlands education and research event, uh, it will take a concrete follow-up from the Climate Action Summit by setting the alumni challenge, which, be, which we launch uh, officially today. The program that we are going to experience with you has been prepared by uh, two of our academic leads, Professor uh, Philip Ward from Amsterdam and Park Jan so Sopa Heluwakan from Indonesia. And they've contributed greatly to bring together the speakers for today. We also work together with, uh, with Nuffik, of course, and the winner cooperation uh, system with the, uh, the embassies and between the two countries aims to not only build on a strong history that we have together, but also on the future that we meet in this planet where meeting the climate uh, challenges is one of the, the big challenges for every country in the world. And only by doing this together, we can create a sustainable future. So it's for that reason that we are extremely grateful for the opportunity to meet with leaders from government, from the corporate sector, from the ac academic sector, and also from civil society. I already said a little bit about the program of today. So after the, the keynotes and the, the welcomes and the keynotes, and of course, the announcement of the alumni challenge, which will be an important moment with the Director General for Climate Change from the Indonesian Ministry of Environment and Forestry, and also the Climate Envoy for the Kingdom of the Netherlands. And then afterwards, the panel discussion where you can also put your uh, questions in the Q&A and we try to bring that in into the conversation. <clears throat> 